So after the affair, I really worry about whether or not I have all of the truth about what happened. What if I don't have 100% of the truth about what happened during the affair and since the affair? Okay, this is a great question, Mama Hutch. Thank you so much for asking this. Let's talk about it. So the first thing I would ask you is, do you really need 100% of the truth? If so, why? Now you might be saying, well, I need to know exactly what happened. I need to know exactly what my partner did. I need to know exactly what the AP did. I need to know exactly what he was thinking so that I can know that there's definitely no secrets. I know 100% of everything. And to that, I would say, I completely get it. I completely understand why you want that. But it's hard to get that because memory is not perfect especially when people are doing something they know they should not be doing. They're in a sort of agitated state and our memories form a little bit differently. So they may not remember things correctly. Some of the memories may be altered. Some of them may not be stored correctly at all. So memory is imperfect. The second thing I would tell you about that is, you know, he may not even know, or she, he or she may not even know what they were thinking at the time. Sometimes we are only able to really have insight into our own behavior and our own thoughts with time. So, you know, I think that it's pretty difficult to get 100% or to know all of the truth. Instead, I'd encourage you to look for, do I have most of the truth? Do I have enough of the truth? If you feel like you've got about 90% of the information you need, I would say that's pretty good. And I would inter you know, encourage you to keep going with that. Not because I want your partner to keep secrets, but because I know that getting to 100% is often not worth the pressure you're gonna put on the relationship and it's gonna hinder your healing. So if you have about 90% of the truth, then what I would tell you is focus instead on behavior because behavior matters more than the truth in some ways. Truth is sort of subjective. We all put our own interpretation on things. We all filter things through our own filters. So what may be his truth might not be her truth, might not be their truth, might not be your truth. But if you feel like you've got 90% of the story, that's pretty good. So the, the behavior I want you to really look at and pay attention to is, is there genuine remorse by your partner? Are they truly deeply sorry for what they did? Then are they doing a good job talking with you and reassuring you about the affair and not trying to sweep things under the rug, not trying to tell you to get over it? When we're sweeping things under the rug, trying to minimize things and telling people, yeah, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. You just have to get over it. That is not conducive to healing. The third thing is, is your partner doing the work to really understand why they had the affair? And are they trying to develop new communication skills and not avoid tough conversations? Are they trying to develop new coping skills so they don't need to reach out to other people for validation? Look for all of that changed behavior. And I would tell you that matters more than 100% of the truth. All right, tell me what you think about this. Let's talk about it. Thanks again for your question.